So today I'm making my own power bank. You buy one of these. It's about five dollars. It has a digital display. And uh, it holds up to eight cells. Now these cells I pulled out of a laptop battery. Six cell laptop battery. There's about six of these in there. And if you look, they're 1800 milliamp. So what we do here is we put eight of these, making sure that the positive and negative terminals are uh, identified. Put them all the same way. I'm gonna put eight of them in here. I'm gonna use some uh, nickel. You're gonna solder on all the positive terminals together and all the negative terminal together. And in this, they'll be in parallel. So the amperage goes up. So 1800 times eight, that's 14,400 milliamp. I have a power bank right here by PNY. Essentially the same thing, except this one has three ports. And this one says 10,400 milliamp. So with this, it looks like it, there's about four in there. And if you divide 10,400 by four, they have 2,600 milliamp batteries in here. Um, I got this other one that, uh, it apparently says it's 100,000 milliamp, which is impossible. It's about maybe 2,000, it's really light. You know it's uh, the actual capacity when it's a bit heavier. So now I'm gonna solder all these heads. And then once I solder these, take the positive and the negative terminal. Right here is the positive and the negative. You're gonna solder it onto here. And then you can close it and we're gonna test it. So now that I've linked those uh, eight batteries in uh, parallel, all the amperage adds up, giving me a total of 14,400 milliamp hours. And uh, so how you know that it is legit is um, 14,400 will charge about nearly seven to nine times the battery of an iPhone 6. An iPhone 6, I want to say, is about six, 15, uh, 1800 milliamp hour battery. So uh, it should charge that. If you get an aftermarket battery like this one, where it states that it's 100,000 milliamp, I mean, this is super light and look how thin it is. It's nearly impossible that it's that. And usually, after uh, it won't even charge my iPhone once. So that's how you know this is fake. This I know for a fact because I tested each battery and they were 1800 milliamp. What you do is you just type in a laptop battery and you get a six cell. And um, usually there's 1800 milliamp, uh, six of them in there. And uh, I just take that apart and I use those because I know those are legit. If you buy any other ones, uh, they claim it's like 3,000 or 9,000 milliamp hours, but um, I've tested those and at most I've gotten is like 1,500 or something. So how, how you know this is legit is it's, it takes a really, really long time to charge it because it needs, it needs to charge all those cells. So um, you get this enclosure for about five bucks online. Um, I'll put a link up and uh it has two ports one's uh 2.2.1 or 2.4 amp output and the other one's a one amp output and uh on the display it actually shows um and uh yeah if you wanted to make your own bank and to make a legit one where it'll last you several charges you make your own and it it's a lot better